a man of many different positions based on what you can do in talents. Is that more a strain on you physically, mentally, or not at all? Uh, not at all. Just a natural God-given ability, basically. So, I mean, I'm just coming out here doing what the coaches want me to do, which is receiver. So, just coming out here giving my effort every day at receiver. That's basically it. Not everybody takes advantage of their God-given ability. What is it with inside of you that a word did you learn to make sure you do? Just work hard, period. I mean, I'm just a, a hard worker. I'm going to come in and give him all every day, basically. So that's where it comes in at right there. Did, did you ask the coaches to play receiver, or how did that go? go about? Um, I came here as a DB, but when Coach Rule had came here, I had decided that I kind of want to go back to cornerback. But... I just kind of want to play receiver a little bit more as soon as he, uh, we got in the spring and I started to see all the players um, who was playing receiver and DB and stuff like that. So I decided I wanted to go back and uh, play receiver because I feel like that would be kind of easier for me. How much have you seen this receiving group improve from the spring up until this point today? Uh, tremendously. I got, I feel like we're going to be one of the uh, best receiving groups out there, honestly, because, I mean, we got Giselle Mims, um, RJ Snead, me, uh, Blake, uh, Pooh Strickland. It's a lot of receivers, and they, we, we each got different uh, talents that we each can do. So I feel like we're going to be a, a great receiving core. A lot of them don't have much of a history because of just the last year or two, and some of them even newer than that, R.J. Sneed. What's it like to have somebody that you haven't seen do it much, but you see them growing up in front of you? I feel like he, yeah, I feel like he's been here as long as I have. So he's <laughs> been catching on to, like, to the playbook better than me sometimes. But uh, I feel like he's going he's gonna to jump right in and be good. I mean, he's comfortable, so that's all you can ask for from, for a young guy. So he's just coming out, just giving his best effort every day. So The way you're defended in practice with what they run defensively now compared to when you were here before, is there much of a difference in the physicality? Is there much of a difference in how you're, gar or how you're defended? Uh, I don't really think so. I mean, I don't really know how the defense really played when I, uh, with the old coaches, but now, I mean, they just being physical every day, making me better. So they just coming out every day, being more physical, basically, and they helping me get better every day. Tony, what, what do you feel like you add to the receiving core? What do you feel like your specific strengths are? Mm, speed, um, catching everything. Uh, I just feel like, I mean, it's not really just me. I feel like we all make each other better. But, uh, I mean, we all just going to be a great receiving core, basically. Who's going to make the catch on third and eight to a first down to continue a drive to seal a game? Whoever's open, and I hope they catch it. Simple as that. <laughs> they just have a lot of receiving, great receiving cores here. Is that a standard you guys want to live up to? Uh, no, we just want to come out here and just go hard every day. And, and I mean, it's a new, new year, so we just got to come out and do what we do, basically. What do you guys need to fine tune? before that season opener against Liberty sorry, University. What, what do you guys need to fine tune from now up until that season opener against Liberty? Uh, we just need to keep doing what we're doing, uh, getting the playbook harder, learn exactly what we're doing, and just keep going hard at practice every day. That's the only way we'll get better. The special teams, the return game, the yardage, the last few years has been basically minimal. Mm -hmm. What's the difference in how you as a team are going about making sure that you can make some plays, gain some hidden yardage in a game? Uh, Coach Rule, he's taking special teams real serious. Uh, he making sure that blocks is going to be there, and he making sure that I'm catching better than I, I was last year and getting comfortable back there, and he's just making sure the special teams is doing what they need to do so that the returners can do their best too. How much, fear, how, how much lack of fear do you have to have catching the ball when you know 10, 11 guys or whoever it is coming down to knock you out? Not at all. I mean, that's what practice is for. I mean, I practice every day just getting comfortable at practice so when it's the game it don't be nothing different it's just, just got to go out there and do my job and everything can be taken care of a couple more tony are you hoping to <clears throat> do both the uh, punts and kicks returns uh i'm just wherever coach need me but i mean if punt return if that's where you want me and kick return if that's where you want me i'll be there so What's it like when something opens up in front of you on a punt return and you see nothing but the end zone? Is there a certain feeling that you you probably felt that in high school a couple of times? What's oh, yeah, that like? Yeah, yeah. It's a great feeling. Uh, I just know I just got to keep running as, as fast as I can just to get there so I can make it a touchdown and get a point for my team. Simple as that. Is this a whole lot different? Is this a whole lot different from what you were running last year? How much have you had to learn for this new offense? Um, it's 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 a lot different. Uh, we have to learn a lot of route concepts. Uh, just we have to learn and just be 
study every day, basically, just getting our playbook really learned uh, what the plays is, and that's, it's, it's a lot different.